Local high school stu students rather head to Over the Rhine today for art's sake. And the Deer Park students are working to preserve those murals that were painted eight years ago outside Our Daily Bread. Local 12's Josh Knight is live in Over the Rhine where he learned this project is about a lot more than just artwork. Josh. That is absolutely right, Kit Curtis. The murals are right here, and over the last eight years, the weather has taken a toll on them. It was back in 2006 when high school students from around the area volunteered here at Our Daily Bread and then painted the murals based on their experiences. Now we fast forward eight years later, and there's a new group of students that get to come down to Over the Rhine and get to work with this artwork, but also learn a lot more. This group of Deer Park High School students is in Over the Rhine with several goals. Tim Hubbard runs the school's volunteer program and he says from the beginning it has been about more than just preserving the artwork. They're interested in, in art but they're also interested in connecting with communities and learning more about those communities and that's, that's really the heart of this project is um, you know learning about what exists in our city that we may not necessarily know about. Some of the students had never been to this part of town. Jenna Clunk was surprised. I expected Over the Rhine to look much different than when I had seen it when I was like six years old coming to Music Hall, but it really wasn't different. She said she didn't expect the contrast from one side of Liberty Street to the other. Where they're doing all the refurbishments, like where they're starting new businesses, where it's getting like trendy. Clunk says you don't hear as much about what's not changing farther north. They spent some time learning about different groups trying to help. There's a lot of nonprofit organizations that are really trying to help this community thrive. And they did some volunteering of their own at Our Daily Bread. It creates a big awareness and a very eye opening, and you kind of feel sympathetic to them and like you really want to help. Clunk says she will take a lot of perspective away from this. Not everyone is the way that I am. Like, I live. I lead an extremely fortunate life. I'm going to go home after school today and I'm going to probably eat and I don't have to worry that there won't be food, but a lot of the people do. We're in this human experience together and so, you know, the best way to make this life good is, is to get to know one another and, and uh, work together to build better communities. And preserving the murals, that's what sparked the trips down here over the last two weeks. So what they did is they photographed all of these and then they'll touch them up using Photoshop and actually reprint on some weatherproof canvas and posters these actual pictures and the looks of their frames so they'll be able to last a lot longer. So the students, they'll be able to leave their mark on Over the Rhine, but I think more importantly, OTR is definitely leaving an eye-opening mark on them as well. Curtis? Yeah, in more ways, it's me, sorry, in more ways than one. The students were also challenged to eat lunch on just $1.50 a day, I understand, and that had to be tough. Absolutely. The one, the one kid told me that he was able to get a muffin, and that was it. Their teacher then took them back inside and helped them get a little bit more of a fulfilling meal. Yeah, in case you didn't know, $1.50 a day is what the ag Agriculture Department says that uh, is the average amount per person per meal distributed through government assistance. So eye-opening for sure. Thanks, Josh.